So the ability really is Aquafina. You ha- you have to say the ability. I'm not going to say Aquafina. It, it's your turn this week. But I'm not going to say Aquafina. The patrons voted on it. You're going to say it. Hello and welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Alex. I'm Andrew. And as always, with great power comes great Aquafina ability. Because she is in Kung Fu Panda 4. My we're favorite doing... human being. Yeah, his favorite actress. And um, we're going to do a Kung Fu Panda 4 review at the end of this episode. But that's going to be at the end. Yeah, yeah. so stick around for that. Yeah, let's uh, get it going. Uh, we starting off with a little hot seat. Sure, would you? We haven't done a hot seat in a minute. We haven't done a hot seat in a hot minute. I like that. I know, I'm good. We're clinking. Um, we got two clinks in the first thirty seconds. Let me just open it. Open my calculator app real quick. The vibes How many are good. minutes would you like to put on the clock? Let's go. Yeah, we got three. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna start. All right, All you right, ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, three, two, one. My favorite franchise is Star Wars all time. I need your top three or four or five favorite franchises in order. Okay. Uh, in order, mm-hmm. toss up, you know, MCU, Avatar. Cool. Or the top two. Those are the top two. After that, Star Wars probably. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. Um, you got DC in the top five? Probably not. Not yet. Wow. All right. And not even with the animateds? You know, uh, anime is like. Oh. If I could do AOT. Anim- yeah, AOT. But you is, can't do anime as a whole. You can't do all anime. No. You know, Stranger Things might be up there. Mm. Um, yeah. Stranger Things Season 5 is coming out soon. Yes. Do you expect a spin-off or spin-off series is after the show? Yeah, I mean, they're already doing some stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, they had a play. They had a Stranger Things play or I something. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was like in London or something. Um, wow. So I'm, I'm sure they'll do stuff. If the Dunder Brothers don't get sued again. I think it's the Duffer. Darn. <laughs> Dunder, French. I think it's Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin. I did see a box. I saw a box today that was a box of papers, and it said Dunder Mifflin on it. And the person was like, yeah, they're an actual company. I don't know if that's... Whoa, I didn't know that. I don't know if that was true, but like, it was an actual box. Wow. Do the, you think it came from the show, or it's pre... Yeah, no, yeah. predates right? the show. Okay. Um, do you think that uh, Funko Pops affect brain capacity negatively? Sure. That's good. I think the dumber you are, the more phone codes you have. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That was rude. I'm kidding. You have a lot, is what I'm saying. So do you. Uh, n- n- You're, you've got I a have, collection I have now. six, and I bought them specifically to give them away. <laughs> well, you didn't. Well, I tried. I'm sure I will eventually. I don't know. Do you think you could, uh, you'll ever grow out of the Spider-Man hoodie? Absolutely not. <laughs> if I'm not buried in this, something's wrong. Interesting. My my children are not following my wishes. Which one would you be buried in? This one or the other one? The other one. Why? Uh, it's a it's a little newer. But by the time I'm sixty, Ooh. it probably won't matter. They're probably mm. falling apart. You'll probably have new ones. Maybe. How much would you pay for like a brand new one? That looks just like this. Yeah. Hundred dollars. Hundreds. Wow. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have one brand new, he's your guy. It's my brand, brother. It is. It is. It's your whole thing. Um, I got a couple more. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were locked in a cage. Yes. Underwater. A la 47 meters down. Great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Okay. You're 47 meters down. Mm-hmm. Same situation. Everything like that. Are you waiting for the help or are you swimming to the top? I'm waiting for the help. I can't handle it. Even though you're not going to get it. I can't handle sharks. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. But you're not going to get it. Dude, when she gets halfway up and then she lights a flare and then she's just surrounded by sharks in the dark. Yeah. I Uh, I freaked uh, out. Yeah, that movie messed with me a little bit. I love it, though. I think it's a great movie. uh, Yeah, I would just just die, I think. Yeah, probably. Uh, Would you suck a penis for a billion dollars? No. That's gay. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm just letting you know that, like, that's you being like, I'm so not gay that you're gay. Sure. I'm not gay. I'm not sucking a pee-pee. I don't care how much money you throw at me. That's crazy. It's not going in my mouth. That's crazy. It's not crazy. It's generational wealth for five to ten minutes of your time. But the five to ten minutes of my time requires a penis to be in my mouth. (laughs) Okay. All right. Like that's an important piece of information. Yeah, but it's, it's I don't know. 
My grandkids need to learn how to work anyways. You know what I mean? Mm. Like they need to make their own way. You're one of them. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't need to come in and be like, hey, grandpapa, thank you for the penis money. Like they don't, <laughs> like, I don't want them going to school being like, hey, I can do whatever I want because my grandfather put a penis in his mouth. I like it. All right. That's fair. Somebody. You're selling me. You're selling me here. Let me ask you. You just said grandpapa. Do you call your grandfather grandpapa? No. So then where did Grandpapa come from? I thought it sounded funny. It does sound funny. I like it. Grandpapa. Oh, Grandpapa. Take the penis out of it. Can I like, continue to do it? Can I like get another billion if I do it again? Is it like a yearly thing? I don't think so. It's I think like, it's a one-time thing. It's the thing. yearly Grandpapa suckage. You're just blowing Bezos. Mm. I think he's back on top. As the richest man in the world? Yeah. He has so much money. Or is it Zuckerberg? Do you want me to Google it? No. I mean, he has so much money. Yeah, I don't care. They all have so much money. You it's think they're crazy. sucking penises? No, they don't need to. They would maybe that's the how ones, they got there. They would be the ones giving the billions for the penis, or maybe they got there because of the penises. I suppose. Grandpapa. You no, know, I, I call him grand granddad. There are women, hypothetically, that have sucked peepees for a billion dollars. A billion? I mean. Like, right, Bezos' ex-wife is the richest woman in the world because she divorced him. Yeah. So technically, she sucked pee-pees for like $100 billion or however much she has now. Yeah, how much does she get? I guess you could... I can tell you. I'm going to tell you. Can you quantify that to specifically being like she got it because of the penis penis suckage? Um, I guess. That's a good question. That's a really good question. Yeah, she... Okay, she has $36 billion. Wow, that's a lot of penis money. That's a lot of penis money. Good for her. I'm rooting for her. What do you call your grandfather? Do you have one? No. I, my, They're all dead? N- neither of my grandparents, neither of my grandfathers were alive when I was born. Dang. Yeah. M- m- both yeah. of my grandmothers were alive when I was born, but my grandmother on my mother's side died when I was five. But my grandfather on my, f- my grandmother on my father's side is still alive, and I'm. I'm. Whenever I, I go home, I see her. She's. She only, you only got one left. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. But and she's like 96. She's awesome. Yeah. Geez, that's rude. Okay. I will say, <laughs> this is advice to everybody at home. This is pretty terrible advice, but you know it'll help. Trust me. When you start a new job, you have all four living grandparents. You're welcome. When you start a new job. Yeah. Let's say you get a new job. All four of your grandparents are alive. Whether that's the truth or not. Why? There you go. I don't get it. They help you get hired? I don't understand. No, you have to call in sick. It's an uh, emergency, whatever. It's the busiest day of the year. My grandmother died. My grandmother died. My have you hit somebody died. with that? Huh? Have you hit somebody with that? Of course. Dude, that's crazy. All four of my grandparents have been alive for every single job I've ever had. And they've all died multiple times. Mm -hmm. I've killed my grandfather 60 times, probably. Yeah. He's already dead. How did that affect a life in your eyes? (laughs) (laughs) Shout out, Connor. Shout out, Connor. All right, your turn for hot seat. I got nothing prepared. You ready? Well, you got the one from before. Oh, yeah. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. I know we joke about it, but I want you to like legitimately think about it like off camera. Like if I did this, what would you do? Don't make a joke about it. I want a real answer. Yeah. I walk into your hut and I'm like, thanks for letting me borrow it. And I hand you the dude bucket. Oh, my and gosh. like I legitimately used it. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. Um, but what would you say? What would you think about me? I wouldn't think of you any differently. See, that's the difference between you and I. I'm not a very judgy person. You would judge the hell out of me if I actually used it. I'd make fun of you a lot for it. Yeah, but like I, I wouldn't like I would it'd never, be whatever. I would never judge you. I'd actually I I would be asking you how it was. Would you then try it? No, not after you. I'm not getting sloppy seconds. What if you washed it? Hypothetically then maybe, but probably not as well. You don't want to Eskimo twins the dune bucket? No. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Okay. Um how surprising is it to you that Kung Fu Panda 3 currently has like an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes? Again, I haven't seen it, so I don't... Kung Fu Panda 4, sorry. Oh, it does? I've been hearing terrible things about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Pulling the curtain back. We haven't seen it yet. Yes. 
I've heard, when we're filming this part. I've heard terrible things about it. That shocks me. Isn't that interesting? Soups hated it. Um, Has he said that publicly? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, we're going to have to cut mm. that. All right. Our buddy Riz, who went to the premiere, who stayed with us, yeah. did not like it. I mean, a lot of people didn't like I've heard a lot of bad things about it. I've really I, yet to hear a good thing about it. I've heard it's the most childish one. Yeah, I've heard that pretty consistently as well. I've also heard that Aquafina is annoying. How much longer do you think your grandmother has? Jesus Christ. Um, I hope a couple years. Uh, you, do you know the Do you know the the idea that like people when you have something to live for, you live yeah, until yeah. that thing? I kind of think that's my wedding. She's waiting until your wedding, uh-huh. and, then, and then she's gonna. I think she's gonna call it like the day after my wedding. So she's ninety six. You're getting married in the next four years. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Probably. You should hold out four years so that she gets triple digits, and that's kind of cool, and then get married. Well, I, I'm, I don't I don't know, but I just that's what I have in my mind. I, yeah, I mean, but if I, that's I the case, because she asked me all the time about my wedding. She sounds sweet. She's what, lovely. What's her name? Uh, Kenya. I want to meet her. She doesn't speak Kenya, English. Kenya. She's a whole. She's a whole country. It's spelled with an X, not a K. It's X E N I A, and Kenya is K E N Y A. Mm, it's a little different. Yeah. Um. Other than Deadpool, what are you most looking forward to this year? It can be TV show or movie. I'm really excited for the X-Men show that's coming out very soon. Um, uh, uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is up there. Hmm. Um, I'm missing something big that I know I'm really excited for. Andor Season 2 may or may not come out this year, which is kind of cool, but... Acolyte is supposed to come out this year, but I'm definitely missing something. If I remember it, I'll let you know. But, um, like, I'm excited for Furiosa, but I'm not as excited for it as, like, yeah, you or Deadpool 3 and, like, everything like that. But I I love, do you love Fury Road? I do love Fury Road. I've only seen it once, and it was a long time ago, but I remember it being pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it's so good. And Anya Taylor Joy. Yeah. And Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Last question? Last question. We didn't start with a high-low buffalo. That's interesting. Are, no. we, are we doing that next? Yeah. Um, what is the happiest you've been in the last week or two or three? The night of the Avatar show coming out. Um, we all watched episode one as a group. And I wasn't the biggest fan of episode one. It's probably my second least favorite episode of the series. Me, Angel, and Zach were upstairs in Angel's room. Uh, and we were just shooting the shit, having a good time. We knew that, like, we were staying up and we were going to watch the next two episodes together at least. And so we were just shooting the shit, having a good time. You were upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. You kept joining us, everything. And we were just hanging out. And it was the first time because Angel, our roommate, um, recently got fired from Amazon. So Ruggs is now his full-time job. We're super, super proud of him for that. Um, we're going to Collecticon with him this Saturday and Sunday, which after, um, the two days before this episode. And since he's been fired, he hasn't really been spending too much time with us because now he does rugs all the time. And then when he doesn't, he's playing video games with his other friends. And so that was like the first time in a while that it was like the four of us hanging out again. And that meant a lot to me. It was a vibe. It was a lot of fun. It was a vibe. You want to go or you want me to? You. What is my high? There was some big news today. Yeah. Hmm. Well, the Avatar show. Yeah. Yeah. It's season two and three. Yeah. yeah. No, that's exciting. Did you see how they confirmed it? Like the Zoom call? With yeah. No, th- that was so good. The Avatar social media marketing team is amazing. Yes. I think they're great. Did you see Iroh's background? No. It looks exactly like ours. It's a Star Wars background. Just Star nerdy. Wars helmets everywhere. It was amazing. That's great. Um. Uh, yeah. So my high is Natasha Bedingfield. Ooh. I don't know who that is. Staring at the blank page Ooh, before banger. you. Yeah. Also, Unwritten. you know the other ones she's known for? Hmm. I got a time and a time full of sunshine. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. I listen Take to... Take me away. away. A secret, secret place. A sweet escape. All right. I don't know. I listened to that today. I listened to Unwritten, and then I was like, gotta go for another one. And I listened to that. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, my low... Is well, it was gonna. My low is gonna was gonna be Kung Fu Panda Four is probably gonna suck, Ooh. and we're gonna talk about it later this episode whether it sucked or not. Yeah. So you'll see if my low is accurate later this episode. Uh, but it does have an eighty percent, so that's interesting. But just the fact that like we're gonna go see it, and I don't have high expectations is my low. Unfortunately, because everything I've seen about it looks garbageio. Yes. But I've been wrong before. Absolutely. Um, my Buffalo is. Uh, some of the content I'm gonna be trying and doing. Ooh. So, so, you know, I'm doing a little more different things on on TikTok, um, like the vlogs. So I want to like maybe do like a vlog a week. I kind of just do them randomly. But if I do one a week, they're kind of like consistent. And I might do the uh, hidden URL like prize thing like in the vlogs, and they kind of lead from one to the other and kind of make it like a a thing. So that's something I might try. So more more things on TikTok. I'm streaming again, hopefully, kind of. Like, now that I'm back to normal, I've streamed, like, twice. So I've got some Fall Guys stuff planned, and then Resident Evil, the the horror game. And then um, I got to go to an event for Fall Fallout. Um, and I saw the first two episodes of that, and so I might play that. So just the streams and the TikToks and the – oh, and Magic. I'm going to be editing some Magic videos together soon, so just that. Come check Very it out. good. Very good. So my high, I think, was going to be the announcement of the live action Avatar show getting a season two and a season three. That is all very exciting. Mm-hmm. But my high is my girlfriend Rachel is almost done with season one of Avatar The Last Airbender, the animated show. And she, I think, is really enjoying it. So we have won, ladies and gentlemen. We have won. We have won. Uh, it took a long time, uh, but she's watching it. She's enjoying it. She's texting me. Oh, my gosh. This just happened. Oh, my gosh. This just happened. She really, I asked her, please watch Until the Storm. She watched Till the Storm. She loved the storm. She loved the blue spirit. I'm really, really happy about it. It's great. She liked the Jean Jean episode. Yeah, yeah. She posted on her story, and I swapped up on it with, like, the fire emoji, and she's like, it's pretty good, not gonna lie. And yeah. Like, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, I, I was I was definitely, that's and obvious. she hates Zuko, as she should. In season one. Yeah. Because he's typically an ass. So, my low is something very personal to me. Uh, Andrew doesn't believe in me. He has no confidence in me. Correct. I don't think he likes me as a person. Because we have a mutual friend. Uh, legendary shots. His name is Carson. Oh yeah. And uh, is it today? No, it is okay. Friday, right after Patreon movie night. He will be coming over and playing Super Smash Brothers with us. Trying and, to get a stock on him. And unbelievable! I won the first game I ever played against <laughs> and then he him. He three stocked you twice. No, he three stocked me once. And again, I was out of practice. Now I'm in practice. Andrew has no confidence in me. He said so confidently, Carson is easily better than everybody in this room. And I took a lot of offense to that. So I plan on dominating Carson in your name. What do you want to bet? You you called my bluff. I'm not going to bet anything. Ah, That's what I thought. I guess I have no confidence in myself. That's what I thought. But yeah, no, I'm not betting anything. But because you're gonna lose, Admit no, it. no, Admit I, it. no, Admit I just it. I've already risked my pride by Dude, talking about this publicly. You're almost losing to me. Like it's not even. No, like, that's that's crazy. Let's one v one right now. I'll sure. two stock you easily. Okay, all right. Like no, it's sad. You know, it's sad seeing your heroes like just unreal. Like, the disrespect, the fall off. So I actually think we're gonna film some of that with Carson, and if we do, obviously that will be available on the Patreon for yeah. everybody. Oh, yeah, we should definitely do that. Um, I'm going to be, like, trash-talking in your big ears so loud. That's why I'm wearing the bucket hat today. There's actually Rachel's bucket hat, but I'm wearing it to cover my big ears because I'm feeling especially insecure right now. Oh, and you made it ten times worse. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> my buffalo is a fun fact that I read the other day. I thought it was so fun I had to talk about it on the podcast. So I'm pretty allergic to animals. Like, dog hair, cat hair can really ruin my day. Like, I'm not, like, um, like, like I'm not as bad as some people. I know people that are, like, deathly allergic to animals. I'm not. But, like, if I 
scratch our dog and then rub my eyes or something. It's going to ruin my whole sinuses and everything. Did you know then cats can be allergic to people? It is uncommon because we bathe more than like any other species, but it does happen. I'm going to read to you what happens when cats are allergic to humans. Um, their body sends uh, immunoglobin E antibodies uh, uh, triggering, triggering the release of histamine and other chemicals that cause itchy eyes, runny noses, sneezing, sneezing and hives. We're taking a break to talk about our sponsor for this episode. Our Woo! super sponsor, Marvel <laughs> Strike Force. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, Marvel Strike Force is an incredible mobile game, a comic book fan's dream. Mm -hmm. It so, works well for us. Certainly, the, considering we are. Considering who the frick we are. Nerds. Marvel Strike Force is a mobile squad RPG that allows you to battle with your favorite team of superheroes and supervillains in a fight to save the universe against threats like... Apocalypse and Doctor Doom. Your goal is to power up your favorite characters, to complete missions, unlock gear and other resources, and beat other players in PvP modes. Yep. Just like I beat you in video games all the time. We should play this. Just add it to my list of things that I rock you in. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Such as Alliance War and Real Time Arena. As we speak, they are enjoying their six year anniversary. Yes, congratulations. It's been around for a minute. You know what that means? A lot of gifts. Free stuff. They're being very generous. Just for signing up via our unique link. We got a unique link in the descriptiones. Uh, the anniversary consists of weekly events and bonuses. If you complete each event, you can receive special rewards and skins. So make sure to log in each day and each week to take advantage of all the new characters. We have received a unique promo code for every new user. Please follow our link in the description and use the promo code. Max Pool. Max Pool. So thank you again for Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring this episode. Do you shake your legs? All the time. Yeah, dude. Always. I don't think we filled... Is your mom... Sh Never mind. Ooh. I don't think we filmed the podcast where my legs weren't shaking actively. One time I was shaking my leg in a movie theater and the girl next to me asked me to stop. Was it a girl you didn't know? Yes. <gasps> but it's okay because it was a really sad movie and at the end of the movie she handed me a tissue. And it was really oh, it was past sad. lives? It was past lives, yeah. Oh my gosh. I wanted to like get to know her. That's terrible. That's so I embarrassing. I didn't know like me bouncing my leg... It affects other people. The, the the seat next to me that much. Rachel stops me all the time. We'll be like at a sporting event or something. You don't do it because you're anxious or nervous. You just do it, right? I do it. I, I do it because I do it. Yeah, like some people like I see my, me bouncing my leg and they're like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm freaking great." But it's like I don't know. It's it is. It's like too much energy we have. It's like it's got to get out. Zach, our roommate, changed my life last night. This is a very gay thing for him to do. On account of his homosexuality. He put me onto Pinterest. Oh boy. Pinterest is great, dude. What are you doing on Pinterest? I'm looking. I get like all these new wallpapers. You know me. I'm a wallpaper goon. Yeah, yeah. There's. A bunch I, of I've ones. got like, you know, two wallpapers per day on As my long phone. as you don't have like a, a like a Pinterest board about like, like countertops and kitchens. I'm not there yet, no. Don't do that. Right now, it's just like cool Pokemon art, Transformers art. There's a really cool couple Daredevil ones I've got. There's a couple cool Spider-Man ones I got. Like, I got this one from Pinterest. You know you can just, like, Google those. You don't have to be, like, on Pinterest. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, it's my, just really my, cool. My friend has that one. Yeah, exactly. Got it from Pinterest. I have. I feel like I do Google these, and I feel like I never get good ones. Mm, that's fair. I know you're a shorts past the knees guy because you're like from the 80s or whatever. Sure. Um, do you think you'll ever be an, uh, a shorts above the knees guy? Barely, maybe. Like, but it would Do you think like... I could convince you to get some short shorts? No. Like five inches? Nope. Why not? Because I'm not. Are you going to say gay? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? I'm just not that guy. I'm not that guy, pal. I'm not that guy. What do you think of that video? That original video is really funny. You're not that guy, pal. Yeah, it's, You're not really, that guy. it's really good. I feel like that would be you in that situation. Probably you, when I'm that age. Yeah, you would be doing that. I'm going to really enjoy this. These are 10 absurdly hard questions about okay. 10 things that you adore with all of your heart. I adore 10 things. Mm, not really. One of them is a Batman v Superman question. Well, what the frick are you Because it also has to do with something else you adore. Um, but uh, Are you on there? No, I'm not, because you don't adore me, because you hate me, because you're a terrible co-host. Because I said, okay. Um, yes. 
So this is the way this is trivia is going to work. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. If you get five questions or more wrong, then I will be given a tremendous advantage in next week's trivia challenge. Which where is, we are going one-on-one. On one. Yeah, it's a big deal. If you get six questions or more correct, then you will be given said huge advantage. Why does this advantage matter? Because ladies and gentlemen, next week on the podcast, turn your notifications on. Next week, we'll be doing a trivia challenge that will be moderated where it's 1v1 and the loser will have to watch 10 hours of content chosen by the opposing player. I have chosen The Haunting of Hill House, my favorite Netflix show of all time. Maybe my favorite show of all time. And Andrew, for me, has chosen... Yes. Dune 1, Dune 2, and Interstellar. Mm -hmm. My Timothy Chalamet boycott will be broken if I lose trivia next week. So this trivia is vastly important to determine who will have the advantage. Luckily, I will. I should I should throw Wonka in there. Well, no. Mm, chocolate. You ready? Mm, the pocket. I'm going to just start. Skyrocket. Who says the line... Well, those I actively try to avoid. Well, those I actively try to avoid. Bruce Banner. Correct. I'm going to read you two negative reviews from one of your all-time favorite movies. Okay. Guess the movie. Sure. Try as I might, and I did try, I just could not find it interesting or affecting in any way. That's the first review. Here's the second review. The film is an overly long attempt for its lead character crea to create the picture book life of his dreams. Great showman. Wrong. About time. Interesting. One for two. You are one and one. This is an avatar question. Bring it on. What is the name of the professor they meet in the desert? And what did he teach? It's Zay or Z or Zai. Z-E-I. You're telling me? Yeah, that's the answer because you didn't get it. You didn't give me a guess. I was gonna. I was very close to that. I was one letter off. Really? Yeah, oh. but I wouldn't have gotten it. But I was one letter off. I knew it generally. What did you say? I was gonna say you said X I E or something. Z E I. Z yeah. I was doing like Z E N or something. I was gonna go Zen. Mm. Do you know what he does? Is it archaeology, anthropology? Anthropology. Wasn't that far off. I think that one should be a wash. That's a wash. I'm happy with the wash because you probably, I probably would have given that to you. <laughs> Cusco. Yeah. Was named after the ancient capital of the Incas, mm -hmm. Cusco with a C. What country is Cusco in? In the movie or the, oh. The actual city. The capital of the Incan Empire. We're going to go. I think you're going to get this. I don't think I'm going to get this. Really? Yeah. Come on. Is it just a big... Is it the one? It's not Brazil. Frick. That was my number one guess. Okay. It's not... Uh, st statistically, that was a good guess. No, that was... Yeah. That was, uh, it, it, it's definitely the second biggest one in this region, but by region, I don't mean South America. That's a tremendous help. Because bigger than all the ones in the area, but it's not... Mexico. Like, I don't freaking know. No, Peru. Mm. Peru's got all of them. Peru's got Machu Picchu. Mm -hmm. Peru's got some of the Nazca lines. Peru's got Cusco. So yeah, you're you're one and two here. It's all right. Which of these people is not an Oscar winner? Okay. When I say Oscar winner, they specifically won an Oscar. Not, you know, Ryan Gosling was in La La Land, but like he didn't win the Oscar, right? Mm -hmm. Brad Pitt. Matthew McConaughey. Margot Robbie, Kobe Bryant, Quentin Tarantino, Jared Leto, Natalie Portman, Brie Larson, Emma Stone, or Nicolas Cage? Homie, you gave me 10 people? Mm -hmm. One of these people is not an Oscar winner. I can read them to you again. Yeah, read them again. Brad Pitt, Matthew McConaughey, Margot Robbie, Kobe Bryant, Quentin Tarantino, Jared Leto, Natalie Portman, Brie Larson, Emma Stone, or Nicolas Cage? Margot Robbie. Correct! 
Wow. I, obviously, that was fairly obvious to me. I really didn't think you were going to get that one. I just used my little gray cells. Nice. So it's your two and two. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is getting, you're heating up. Heating up. In your favorite movie of last year, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Two, two Both years. of, what? Two years ago. It didn't come out last. Your favorite movie two years ago, yep. Everything Everywhere All at Once. Great movie. Both of the Daniels, the directors, uh, mm-hmm. make cameos in that movie. Mm-hmm. Which of the two, Daniel Shiner or Daniel Kwan, cameos as the district manager that's really into BDSM and tied in getting tied up? You got a 50-50. It's Shiner or Kwan? That's the only one I knew. Um, what's the other one cameo as? I'm not going to tell you. I mean, I It's have, a much smaller role. Yeah, I have no idea. What are the two names? I'll just pick one. Shinert or Quan? This is not my answer. It's Quan. Interesting. <laughs> Did that give you anything? I don't know. Quan. <laughs> <laughs> Shinert. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Two and three. Um... Quan robs a purse from Evelyn. I don't know if that's main universe or another universe. It's another universe. Okay. I think. This is brutal. Uh, what earth is the TASM universe taking place in? It's brutal. You're never going to get that. One, two, three. Oh, you're close. One, two, zero, seven, zero, three. You're a freaking idiot. I know. That should not count. I know. I'm sorry. That should I, not I count. To, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you just you just came up with this whole idea. You came up with the idea for the trivia this yep. week and next week, yep. and you're like, oh, dude, I'm gonna get. So you're just giving yourself an advantage and making me watch ten hours of content is what That's you're correct. doing. That's exactly. what No, nah, no, nah, I don't agree. You were three and. F- is that five? I'm two, yeah. I'm two for four. Two for four. Two. Okay. Two for four. All right. You need to. You need to get. Four in a row. Yeah. Oh, we only have three left. But if you get these three, I'll give you the advantage. I don't care. Timothy Chalamet is the youngest actor to be nominated for Best Actor at the Oscars. For what movie was he nominated? Beautiful Boy? No. Call Me By Your Name. It's a gay movie. He's an army hammer. Senator Finch from Batman v Superman is played by Holly Hunter. What A-list superhero has Holly Hunter played? This is a movie that you love, you adore. Holly Hunter? It's a girl? What, A-list? Like, like I think that this movie, it belongs in the conversation with, like, Spider-Man, Superman, Batman. Like, these characters Wonder are Woman. very famous. The Incredibles, she is the last of girl. Mm. I, I could have gotten that. Uh, and the manager gives me a smile. You think Elastigirl is an A-list superhero? I would say so, yes. I would say her and um, Mr. Incredible are both A-list, A-listers, personally. All superheroes ever. You're All taking the, ever. I, the I, Pixar I, animated movie? Yeah. All right. You didn't tell me I'm wrong? Next. <laughs> and the manager gives me a smile. Piano man. Bang. You lost. Clearly. One, two, zero, seven, seven, three, zero, no, three. You're close. You're, you're just, close. Just give me the name Pi while you're at it. Frick <laughs> you. One, two, zero, seven, th- zero, three. Sorry. Let's do a quick little trivia challenge to have the the punishment or the advantage reversed. I don't understand what you're saying to me. Let's do another trivia challenge. I'll give you questions, and if you don't get enough right, yeah. the, the advantage goes away. D- done. I'm going to win. What flavor Pop-Tart did I have this morning? Strawberry. Brick. Let's draft superhero movies. Justin, we're going back and forth? Five. Okay. You can have the first overall pick because I fucked you in trivia. And I know you're uh, going to take Avengers 1. Across the Spider-Verse. Wow, that's your first overall pick? 
It is today. Wow. All right. Avengers 1. You didn't think I was taking that, did you? You're a jerk. I've ruined your whole day. You're a jerk. You know that? Yeah. You're a jerk. The Dark Knight. Ooh. That's a real loss for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to the end of this, and your list is going to be my list, and my list is going to be your that list. That really sucks. Okay. Mm, yeah. Maybe you should have taken it as oh, your number one. Shit. You ever think about that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to go into the Spider-Verse. Mm. Mm. Sloppy seconds you're getting here. Yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble. I know what my next pick is, and I'm terrified. Infinity War. Mm, I wasn't going to pick that one. I'm feeling okay. Incredibles. A-list. Superheroes right there. Mm -hmm. Um, Winter Soldier. Going Batman Begins. Sloppy seconds yet again. (laughs) (laughs) And then I'll end it off with... uh, What would F you up the most? I don't know. Guardians. Oh, yeah. Take that. Um, oh. No Way Home. Oh, yeah. So I've got... I don't remember. The Avengers. <laughs> I've got Avengers 1. I've got Into the Spider-Verse. I've got Batman Begins. Incredibles. No I've way got home. Incredibles and I've got No Way Home. Cool. You've got... Across, Dark Knight, Infinity War... Winter Soldier, Guardians. You've got too much MCU. But I've got the best of the best, baby. Neither of us took Civil War. I think my list is better. Don't you? No. Why not? You have too much MCU. I have The Dark Knight. You have Batman Begins. I have A Cross. You have Into. Yes. But I think... You have two MCU, I, you, I have three. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm full of Yeah. I should have gone. How many times a day do you just I like, gone do you just look in the mirror and you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm full of it. Does it happen every day? No. Because it happens I, like once a podcast. I don't think I ever wake up and think that. You, I have to be there to do like. Do you ever wake up and look in the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm, I've I'm never single? had sex. Yeah. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. It's like my, like, it's like my routine. I get up, take a shower, look in the mirror and be like, dude. Do you think sex is going to be like a crazy experience for you? Define crazy. I don't know. Like, do you think it's going to change your life? Well, I've got a good question for you. How, what's your take on divorce? It's great. I think more people should do it. All right. You ready? <laughs> what? All right. You're getting married. You're having sex with your wife. Obviously, that's why you're getting obviously married. right. You're gonna have kids, whatever, whatever. A couple years down the line, it is not working out. You just said you're pro divorce, so you guys get a divorce. Are you now allowed to have sex? No, what? What? Why not? You how, had sex. How is this confusing? So, you're only allowed to have sex with somebody you're married to. See, that's a little ridiculous. Once you have it, and then you get divorced. Within the confines of marriage. Ugh. That's so boring. It's smart. All right, time for a couple of movie reviews. We didn't mention this earlier, or maybe we did. I can't remember. But Snack Shack is what we're going to review, and then we're going to end it off with Kung Fu Panda 4. That's why I'm wearing black and white for Kung Fu Panda 4. Nice. Not necessarily uh, Snack Shack, but we're going to do Snack Shack first. Mm -hmm. You ready? So... Yeah, a lot of people probably haven't heard of it. I was going to kind of go over that after, but that's okay. okay. Yeah, no, well, no, no, you go. Snack Shack is a fun, like, comedy movie. Coming of age movie. About in the 90s. It's it's a lot of fun. It, um, and you watch the trailers, and it's in theaters now. It will be in theaters on March 15th. I don't know when this is coming out. This is coming out on, like, the 11th, I think. So, this week. This week. Yes. Um, yeah, go okay. see it because it's cool. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Snack Shack out of 10. Three, two, two one. Eight. eight out of 10. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. No, uh, it was really good. I it was... thought it was great. I, we talked about this. The first hour, we were in stitches the whole time. So Loving funny. it. The first hour is like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. It is a two hour movie and it does feel. I got out of it and I was like, that's it, a two and a half hour long movie, right? Yeah. But it's under two hours. It yeah. does drag a little bit at the end, but the positives far outweigh any, any sort of negatives. Um, we got to, I went into this, 
I had not even seen a trailer. Yeah, like, I neither. got an invite for it. I was like, you want to come? Yeah. Like, you can go do this thing. It'll be fun. I had no idea what the movie was about. Yeah. Was very pleasantly surprised. Yes. Um, it's the funniest movie I've seen in a while. Um, I yeah, you said you, you, you thought it was funnier than Bottoms. I think it's clearly funnier than yeah, Bottoms. Yeah, I'm a big Bottoms fan, so um, I'm not going to give you that. But but I, uh, we, we met the, the lead actor. Um, yes, the director. And the director. The, um, and, like, I just wanted – this is the director's, like, passion project, apparently. Yeah. Like, he made this about his childhood, and they filmed it, like, when he, where he grew up. And, like, you could just tell there's a lot of heart in this movie. And, like, I, I wanted to just go up to him and give him a big hug and say, like, nice job. Like, yeah. this is so awesome. Yeah. Because uh, you, you can just feel that it makes you want to be a kid again. It yeah. makes you want to go, you know, go out at midnight and just do dumb stuff with yeah. your friends. Like, and it's just so funny. And you didn't cry, but it does get really emotional at the end. Um, you I, teared up a little. I teared up a little bit. Um, and, 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 and it has the heart at the end. And then, yeah, we talked to the, the lead actor, uh, Connor. Uh, he's super nice. This is his first movie ever, ever. and he smashes it. He, ki- he killed it. He's going to be he a star. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah um, no, he's he, very, very good comedic actor. He's, he's very did, handsome. Very handsome. And uh, he did a speech and debate. and did, Yeah, what he was won it? nationals for humorous interpretation Which, in uh, 2019. Yeah, and when they did the Q&A after, they were asking him, like, some of these scenes required, like, physical comedy. Yeah. Like, he's fallen down some stairs yeah. and stuff. And uh, he really... I don't want to say he carried this movie because there's a lot of good stuff in this movie, but yeah. like he was a very he's good, the best part. Yeah, he's yeah he's he great. He was so great. Um, I mean the whole movie. It's great. Eight out of ten. It's my favorite movie of the year. That or Mean Girls. It is my second favorite after Dune. Dune. Yeah, yeah. I, I just it was great. So yeah, go go see it for sure. A very it's very great. adult movie. Lots of language. Lots yeah, of whatever. If, so. But if you like coming of age movies, like this is right yeah. up your alley. Like if you're a fan of mid '90s or Shit House or any of those, like this is right up your alley. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Anything else we didn't cover about it? I think that was everything. Not really, yeah. Yeah, I just it's I was, good. I was Go just so pleasantly it. surprised. Like I don't yes. think and none of our friends were like, I didn't like that. All of everybody us, we were everyone with was loved like, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda Four? Yeah. A different tone, maybe. Yeah, I'll switch it up a little bit, maybe. So uh, here is our review out of ten for Kung Fu Panda Four. Three, two, one. Three five. out of ten. Yeah, it was really bad. Yeah, it's not great. No. Five uh, is like particularly low for you. You gave Ant Man yeah. and the Wasp: Quantumania a seven, and I and I bumped that down probably to a six now. Yeah, and I think this is not as good as that. Yes, probably. Yeah. Um, I put it right in the middle because I don't think they do anything like necessarily like clearly bad, but like there's just nothing. So, I have a couple thoughts on this movie. Our sign isn't on. Ah. Uh, uh. It's over there. It's okay. No, no, no. It's fine. It's no, fine. I just. I think that's what they want. I think the viewers want the sign to be on. Look at that. So true. Now we're professional. All right. Sorry we're about that, everybody. Now. So, the thing, the big thing with Kung Fu Panda 4 for me is it's a boring movie. I didn't think it was particularly funny. The message, they kind of hit you over the head with a simple message. That's my biggest issue with the Lego Batman movie is I think the message is for children. I feel like I'm watching a children's movie with that movie. This movie is on par or worse, like with the message. But by far, my biggest issue with this movie isn't that I just fell asleep during it. Is it just that I was bored and didn't laugh or any of that? But... Oh my gosh, I feel like it is, they do disrespectful things compared to the other two. I, I can't speak on the third, but like, like having... Oh, I want to go into spoilers. I can't go into spoilers yet, but they do stuff with past characters that are like... Those characters would never do that. Like, ever. Really? Yes. Okay, well, we can talk about that in spoilers. Yeah. Um. So, non-spoilers... Kung Fu Panda 4, um, yeah, I don't know. Kung Fu Panda 4 just didn't make me... I didn't laugh once. Yeah. And, like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Um, I think I chuckled twice. Yeah. Um, and another n- negative about it is I knew I could tell you the entire plot of the movie in the first 15 minutes. Yes. When Shifu... I don't think this is much of a spoiler. Shifu was hitting him over the head uh, with... You have to choose the next Dragon War. You have to, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you need to choose your successor. This isn't your path anymore. Like, he does that, like, five times in a row. And then you just know what's going to happen with that. You know what's going to happen with that. And the the twist at the end, 
you see that coming. And and also, so those are my three main gripes. I knew the entire movie as soon as I saw it. I didn't laugh at all. And the villain, Kung Fu Panda movies are known for their villains. And the villain is cool in terms of her... Concept. The concept, concept is cool. Her her sorcery and the the chameleon and copying the powers and all that. Everything that's cool about the villain you see in the trailer. There is no depth to this villain. Am I wrong? No. Like with Tai Lung, you get his backstory with Shifu. Yes. And uh Lord Shin. Lord Shin. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, right. And I, I can't I haven't seen uh Kai or whatever his name Kung Fu Panda 3 in a while. But like there was at least the interestingness of like him going to the spirit world and like doing something different and like He's like absurdly powerful though. Like yeah. that's another thing. Like he's just Dragon Ball Z yeah. like power and, levels. And like they all I'm pretty sure they had all they all had interesting motivations. Like like Shin's like his parents kicked him out and like he yeah, like yeah. His, he's his, just a bad dude. His crossover into villainy is like killing an entire species and then yeah. coming back to his parents and being like, Look what I did and then him them turning him away and like, yeah. like and this one was like Ta- yeah. li- literally anytime she talked about what she was doing which you don't even know what the villain is doing until yeah. like ha- like what her like what she's even trying to do until yeah. halfway through the movie it's literally just like i want to take over this city yeah. it's like why yeah. and then at some point she's like because my my parents kicked me out i can't even remember she but like, wants to do kung fu and the masters didn't let her do yeah kung the fu. masters didn't let her do it but they didn't explain why no or we how. don't get like a backstory like in like there are always flashbacks. There are flashbacks yeah. with Tai Lung. There are yeah. flashbacks with Shen. Yeah. Like it's just a line. Yeah. A it's, single line. And literally And to get Viola Davis. I one know. Of, like like you get three of the most iconic voices of our generation for the last three Kung Fu Panda villains be Gary Oldman, J.K. Simmons, and Viola Davis. And haven't they progressively gotten worse? Probably. I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because Shin's amazing, right? But yeah, I was just kind of disappointed. I was like, okay, so she's just like the flattest villain of all time. She just wants to take over the city and then more. Like, <laughs> like I I didn't... Uh, the the villain of the Marvels, Darben, is the weakest part of that movie. Mm-hmm. But I heard so many people complain about that villain to the point where they were like, this is a bad movie because the villain sucks so bad. And my thought was always, you know, she's like Ronan. You know, she's just like a nothing villain, but you're not here for her. You're here for the Marvels yeah. in the same way that you're there for the Guardians, not Ronan. Yeah. This movie, like I was like, oh, this villain is so boring and flat Yeah. that it makes the movie worse. Yeah. 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 I, I, and again, like you're saying, like to have Viola Davis, and to have this, this such a cool concept for a villain and to have such an iconic voice for it, I was just hoping it would be like a little bit more interesting. I would like to talk about my only two pros of this movie. Okay, let's do it. The animation looks stunning as always. You can touch the fur. It's okay. Yes, I agree. Wait, yes. Okay. I think I know what you're going to say. Continue. But I think this movie came in at a disadvantage because I'm just automatically comparing it to the other Kung Fu Panda movies. But there are some scenes where I was like, they almost did something as cool as other Kung Fu Panda movies, and then they stopped. Like, there's a scene where he falls down into, um, he punches down. And then he lands in a thing, and it's, like, all smoky and black and white. I was like, oh, this is about to be pretty cool. And it lasted for maybe four seconds. It does last for four seconds. Like, when when they're doing, like, the training montages in Kung Fu Panda 1, or they're going back and forth between Lord Shin's, like, operation and uh, Kung, uh, Poe's training and, like, backstory and, like, the, the water drop and stuff like that. That stuff. I'm getting chills right now just talking about it. There's not, like, any cool animation to that level in this one. Does that make sense? Yes. And I was... Like they, they, they tease you with it like once or twice yes. and I was like, interesting. And then it just doesn't last or is as good. So I was going to give a butt to my pro. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the movie looks good as they typically do. Yeah. But there are scenes in this movie that are the worst looking Kung Fu Panda scenes ever in terms of like just sheer animation. I have to talk about that in spoilers. Okay. Um, so that we will get to in spoilers. But so even though it does look good, it's still like it has moments where I'm like, that looks bad. Interesting. And then it's probably the volume. Here's <laughs> that's funny. Here's my other pro. You ready? Yeah. Aquafina isn't terrible in this. I was gonna ask you about that. No, I think that this is the most likable she's ever been in her career. First of all, she's not doing her voice. Yeah. That bothers the hell out of me and bothers the hell out of other people for good reason. Yeah. Um, she's just normal. And yeah. she's not the annoying comedic one in this movie. So she's just the straight man 
to Poe, and Poe became really annoying in this movie at some in some scenes for yeah. me. And she was the straight one. And I was like, oh, this is not terrible. Consistently, I was impressed at how little she annoyed me. Yeah, you kind of forget that it's her yes. every once in a while. Which was nice. Yeah. Interesting. And those are my only press. Um, okay, yeah. Let's, shall we do spoilers? Spoilers, yeah. So, so I, I have a couple more. Um, okay, well, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to do one more pro. Yeah. Um, my favorite scene in the movie was Poe and um, Aquafina's character. Chin. Something. Chin, something like that. The fox. The fox. The wolf Poe or... and the fox in the the bar. You know what I'm talking about? No. Before they, they take the boat to the city? Yeah, but like what particular scene? The, the fight scene. So that, that oh. whole thing. So the, the, I think the fight choreography was good. I thought it was yeah. um, it was interesting because the, the whole thing's shifting. So they're having to deal with that. And they're also portraying their characters of she's constantly trying to steal stuff. And he's constantly trying to put it back. Like um, that felt... Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, that felt like Kung Fu Panda to me. Like I, like I wasn't like, this is boring. They didn't make any jokes that like... I thought were stupid in that scene. Um, that was just Poe being Poe, mm-hmm. and then he ended it with by being cool with his little thing. Um, so I that one scene, I was like, "This is this is a good scene." Yeah. But, um, yeah. So go through your spoilers. So the thing that you disagreed with me on initially is uh, that that I feel is disrespectful sure. to the rest of the franchise is how they handled the past villains. Well, there's only one, really. So I texted our friend, friend of the show, Riz. Um, uh, uh, Riz was furious on how they handled Tai Lung. That he's making jokes, this and that. He's completely out of character, whatever, whatever. Tai Lung isn't the one that bothers me that much. Yes, Tai Lung, it's different. He's acting completely different. I don't like that he goes out like a bitch. I don't like that all of them go out like a bitch other than Tai Lung. Tai Lung gets the least bitchly because he gets to kick everybody else's yeah, well, butt. Yeah, I, didn't, I thought it would bother me more. They let Tai Lung just be like, Cool he takes out every single person in that room. A minute. And then she uses magic on him. Like, you know. Sure. But again, you know, it does suck. Yeah. Um, uh, Shen, specifically, he bows to Poe at the end. They all do. That's ridiculous. Like, Does it bother you more that Shen does it other than Tai Long? Yes. I does. I, I, yeah. Tai Long, I could see a world where there's respect there. Yeah, me too. Like, I honestly, you could make the argument to me that Tai Lung does not deserve what he gets in Kung Fu Panda 1. Yeah, I don't agree with that, but yeah. But he doesn't kill anyone. He just really wants the scroll. Like, he like, like he doesn't kill anyone other than the guys in the prison that are protecting him. Like, trying to stop him from getting He also getting tries a- to kill Shifu, and then he tries to kill Poe, and he wreaked havoc on the village before he was sent to... And we don't know how many people he killed during that. Sure. But he destroyed the village. He, like, attacked the village. Okay, all right. Again, I just don't... But, like, yeah, he's not as bad as Shin. And his motivation... And Shin's motivation is different. And Shin murdered an entire species. Sure. Like, like Shin, like, genocided the pandas. And hates Poe. And, like, for him to bow at the end, ridiculous. It really bothered me. This might be an... If you want to say this is a nitpick and I'm an asshole for saying this... Sure. Sure. But you have a character like the chameleon, okay? Where they can impersonate and take the voice and form of the character that they are impersonating. And you animate Kai and you animate Shen in this movie and you don't get J.K. Simmons or Gary Oldman just because you don't want to pay them. Pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, they don't say a word. Pissed me off. (laughs) Pissed me off so much. Like, that, like... That bothered the hell out of me. Yeah, it was frustrating. Because, like, you have this, like, there's so much trauma with, with Shen. Kai beats Ugwe. You could have her take the form of Kai and Kai be like, and him have something, say something about Ugwe. And he's like, I beat Ugwe. Like, you don't, like, you don't have to do whatever. Like, you could use the villain that way. You could use Shen to bring up the scars. Like, and didn't Shen massacre Daddy Poe's family as well? Like, didn't he kill Poe's dad's wife? Yeah, I think so. You could bring that up? Like, all of this, all of these missed opportunities. You have a villain that can bring up trauma from the past. 
and you don't use it at all. Like, does it bother you? So here, here's another thing that could be bother you about like the changes they made. Do you do you think they went backwards with Poe? Sure. Because I can't remember what happens in Kung Fu Panda Three, but I do remember. Because again, we're watching it tonight, unfortunately, uh, which is frustrating. Because I, I would like the information, but like he goes to the spirit world and like like the spirit realm and gains more power and more understanding and like gets the staff of wisdom. And then in this one, he's like, "I'm not wise. I'm an idiot." Like he's tr- he's literally bringing up inner peace and doesn't know how to do it anymore. Like doesn't know how to meditate when like the whole arc of Kung Fu Panda Two is that he he now has inner peace and then like the fox is just as good at him as Kung Fu. Yes, that's frustrating. Like he beats her in the first fight, but then at the end, you realize like maybe she let him do that because she's trying to get him on her side or whatever to to con him later. And then in the fight where she's, like, not letting him back in the palace, like, there was no winner there. Like, they were at a stalemate. He's the dragon warrior. We've had three movies for him to become the best of the best. And this random... So you're telling me that the fox can beat Tai Lung? I don't buy that. Right? I do not buy that for a second. Mm -hmm. And... And... You could make this argument. You couldn't complain about this. This is just a setup movie for spinoffs with the Fox. Of course. Because the entire thing is, you are now going to be the Dragon Warrior. Of course. And Poe at the end doesn't even really beat the villain. He stays and lets her do it. Of course. You know what I mean? Yes. Let. Even though she is way shittier of a person than he was when he became the Dragon Warrior. Of course. Warrior. Like, again, that's another change. That, like, another thing they did that I think is disrespectful. Like, I just... I was constantly watching this movie baffled by the decisions that they made also yeah like we knew this going in but not a single second of the furious five no they're in the they're in the the, the credits the credits but no talking but no talking of course because they don't want to pay david cross or angelina jolie or seth rogan or any of them which jackie chan like what are we doing here yeah it just felt i was watching it and i was like i'm not laughing i don't care about the villain um what was my other main three points? It was the villain, Brick. You don't like Poe. No, that wasn't a main one. I but. do want to bring up that uh, this was directed by Mike Mitchell, mm-hmm. who didn't direct any of the other Kung Fu Pandas, of course, but did happen to direct Shrek Forever After, most people's pick for worst Shrek movie. He directed the Lego Movie 2, which is way worse than the first one and probably killed that franchise. He directed the first Trolls movie, which to me is known as the worst of that franchise. He also directed Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked, which is the worst movie of that franchise. And here he comes in to lend his talents of making the worst movie in an animated franchise to... I can't wait to watch Kung Fu Panda 3 tonight and see which one I, I, I like less. Because I remember not liking Kung Fu Panda 3 a lot, but I feel like it's going to be better than this. It's definitely going to be better than this. Yeah. I was just, oh, oh my gosh. I was baffled at the decisions they made in this movie. Baffled. Yeah, and like, all that would be okay if it was like, if you were making me laugh consistently, but like, you were really trying to make me laugh the whole time and you really weren't. Like, it wasn't like, bad to the point where like I felt awkward because some comedy like you're, you you try so hard to make people laugh and then it just comes across as awkward it wasn't doing that but it definitely wasn't making me laugh and Kung Fu Panda 2 I think is one of the like funniest animated movies like ever to me like Kung Fu Panda 2 is hilarious and it's great and it's great two things that this movie isn't it's really unfortunate I was really 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 disappointed but I want to see the Rotten Tomato scores for all of them because this has an 80 percent which I feel like is high. Whoa. Right? Am I tripping? That's terrible. That's crazy. Let me tell you. Let's see this. That's ridiculous. But, you know, I mean, it's it's a very kid movie. It is fun in some ways if you're not bored by it and if you if you do like the Mario, comedy. my little brother enjoyed it. He yeah. thought it was funny. He thought it was bad, but he did laugh consistently. Yeah, like, but most people in the theater, we were in a full theater. You didn't hear a lot of laughing. No. You know what I mean? Uh, but, but you know, go watch it. It's got a 70% on Rotten Tomatoes, ah, so it is falling. Uh, you know, it's not, the, it's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe some of y'all will like it. But, um, yeah, that's just, that's just our thoughts. Thanks for watching. 
Wait, I'm pulling up the Rotten oh. Tomatoes. Just... Okay. Oh, for the others? Yes. So, uh, Kung Fu Panda 4 has a 71%. Kung Fu Panda 3 has an 87%. What does Kung Fu Panda 2 have, sorry? I'm about to tell you. It's loading. It better be freaking high, dude. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 2 has an 81%. 6% lower than Kung Fu Panda 3. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And Kung Fu Panda 1 has an 87%. The same score as Kung Fu Panda None of the Kung Fu Pandas are in the 90%. 90%. Yeah, get out of here. That's crazy. 